questions that you may or may not have in the chat function. So if you've got any of those questions that you're wanting to ask of our six formers that would be a bit more six form specific, so the actual pupils themselves, uh, then that's the idea of this. Um, I can obviously answer some of the questions if it's a bit more specific to a teacher uh, or a senior leader, but the idea is to try and unpick some of those uh, things that are to do with our six formers. So I'd first of all like to welcome everybody. Thank you for taking the time to attend uh, the the uh, pupil panel and the six form open evening. I know there's a lot of stuff that currently uploaded on the website, so hopefully a lot of the questions are answered by those forums. But this platform hopefully answers those specific questions. So how we're going to start is by um, introducing our panel. So our panel, just to make sure you're aware, is made up of current Heathcote pupils, and they're the ones that you can currently see on your left, and the socially distanced pupil that is our ex-pupil uh, who has been with us previously, but obviously for COVID restriction reasons, is slightly uh, separated and is uh, obeying social distancing rules. Um, so our six formers are in a bubble, so they're all right to sort of be sat next to each other, uh, and they're going to introduce themselves in a second. So um, they're also going to partially answer, I hope, what is Hassan's question, which is what subjects are available for A-level by telling you what subjects they do. So welcome, everybody. And uh, we're going to start with Mariam, if you'd like to explain what you do and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Mariam. I do biology, chemistry, history, and I'm a Muslim and I'm a Hi, my name is James. I do maths, so I have a maths physics, and I've been a pupil here since year seven. Hi, my name is Jasmine. I do professional construction practice, maths and geography, and I've been here since year seven. Hi, my name is Casper. I'm an external student, and I do computer science, economics, and politics. Hi, my name is Marianne. I'm a four, former student and I previously studied politics, history and drama. Brilliant. OK, so uh, I think that covers quite a lot of some of the A-levels that we do cover. Casper, did you want to go into any more detail with any of the others? Uh, I can try. Um, so the six formals that offers, uh, some psychology, some history, some sociology, uh, so all three sciences, I'm not sure if they were all named. Um, we do we do both things, we do English literature and language, um, and we do like all of the various languages like Spanish, um, French, and some others. Um, yeah, so you like to add for that? Yeah, sure. So we uh, do geography, history as well, uh, economics and business studies in terms of A-levels. Uh, we also do PE. I think we've probably covered most of those. Um, There'll obviously all be all the details on the website, but we also do BTEC. So we do BTECs in uh, business studies, in sport, and also uh, we do a, a construction course as well. So it's not all necessarily A-level routes. We do have some uh, national level three and level two certificates uh, with regards to that. And I believe our, one of our questions uh, regarding that is about the Leighton Orient Partnership. So Maddie asks, is the Leighton Orient Partnership for both males and females? Uh, yes. straightforward answer there you go so yeah we currently do have a, a late and orient partnership that is under review uh a, a, in terms of how uh, we're going and moving forward and how that partnership works but currently yes that is a partnership that uh, aligns with the btech sport um from when can we start to put applications in sixth form anyone know you can, start now. you can. Well done, Casper. Absolutely. So, yes, you can start now because uh, the sixth form application process opened as of about an hour ago, I believe. So, uh, Agnes, uh, who's asked that question, hopefully that answers that one. Uh, keep the questions coming. What I'm going to do is, um, as we uh, are waiting a few more questions coming in, uh, there's some generic ones that have come in through email from various different people, and hopefully these might be able to support uh, some of our pupils. Um, how would you, and I'm going to ask this of Mariam actually, because she's a, a, an external pupil joined us from Heathcote, sorry, joined us to Heathcote from uh, Woodford. How are you supported maybe outside of the classroom with things, you know, in terms of, especially in the COVID world, uh, with regards to things like homework and intervention and any support in that manner? Uh, well, in terms of COVID and remote school, we have um, everything on Zoom classroom. So I think that, at least for my subject, is the all of the lessons that we do and all the lessons that we're going to do. Um, so there's that, and also like in terms of pastoral care, the teachers are really good with um, 
And because I joined, I had a lot of work to catch up with. And my teachers have been really understanding about that and helping manage the workload, especially when it feels like too much. I'll work to get an extended deadline sometimes. Okay. Cenk, you got anything to add to that? Yeah. Um, teachers are very helpful um, for us, for my subject specifically. They're, they're always supportive of me and they help me to push myself to achieve the best. Um, I'm just going to ask, I think I, uh, one of the questions is, uh, or one of the points that have come through is that I seem to be much louder than the pupils. So I'm just going to, two seconds to turn you up, but if you guys could uh, also speak a bit louder. Like that. Just, can I just get you to repeat that, please? And I've just asked you to repeat um, that. The teachers are very supportive of me academically, and um, to their help, I can always develop myself in the subject. Brilliant. Thanks, Cheng. Okay, um, Jasmine, what would you say you most enjoy about the sixth form? I think that the community in the sixth form is really good in that all the students get along and the relationships that we have with teachers are really professional and really helpful. Um, all of the teachers are really supportive. So like if you have an issue or say you're feeling upset or you're stressed out, there's always a teacher to help you or say you need help with for example, an application for a part-time job or a UCAS application, there's always someone to help. So I think the supportive community, community is definitely the best feature of the sixth form in my opinion. Okay, brilliant. Um Glad you mentioned sixth form applications and uh, and going on well, or oh, sorry, university applications because uh, Marianne has fresh come out of. Uh, uh, well, do you want to talk to us about your interview? How that went? Uh, yeah. So today I had um, an Oxford interview for history and politics, and although I was quite nervous, I had a lot of support from Mr. Byer, who was the head of sixth form. She made sure I was fully prepared. She took me through mock interviews, and then she brought um, for a school to come and. Uh, sort of prep me for what top tax or questions that they'd asked that they'd asked me. So when I was uh, in the interview process, I felt quite relaxed, and it wasn't the questions weren't anything that I wasn't expecting because of the thorough sort of um, support that Mr. Byer has given me. Brilliant. And how would you reflect on your time at Heathcote? Because obviously you now that you can look back on it and having been a sixth former here, um, how did you feel it was? So you know, how, what was what would you say it was a happy time or? Um, I'd say that it definitely sort of solidified my interest for the for the degree that I want to go into now because I was quite interested in politics and so the careers of advisor here she sort of gave me work experience that was linked to that. I got to work at um, a journalism sort of summer school where I've met a lot of um, journalists and writers and publishers. So um, so yeah, so the opportunities that were given to me definitely helped. Uh, impact my choice in terms of what career path I'd go into, so it was very helpful for that. Brilliant. Um, and for those of you who are astute, we've just been joined by Mariah, who's our ex-head girl, em emphasising the need and importance of punctuality. Uh, she just wanted to illustrate that point uh, perfectly. Uh, do you want to share just some of your, we're using the microphone, do you just want to share some of your uh, views on, on Heathcote and your time at Heathcote, and as, especially your reflections as ex-head girl? Mm -hmm. Um, I think like Harry said, um, but there was lots of support, especially Mr. Byron. So I think that's what it like. I just think I want to come out saying from A level about Mr. Byron. Um, she was like, hey, come now. She was like, hey, hey. She was asked us to ask us to go. So I think like it's really important to come out. Um, yeah, so I think I enjoyed Brilliant. Okay, thanks. Uh, I'm going to pose this one to Chenk because I know Chenk was a pupil of Heathcote previous to obviously attending the sixth form. Um, Chenk, how do you find or how did you feel the difference between GCSE and some of the stresses, anxiety of GCSE and the exams, uh, and obviously uh, going into year 12 and sixth form? And I appreciate obviously you were part of the cohort that didn't sit exams because of COVID, but just, just, just generally experiences of sixth form compared to GCSE, how was it? Um, in sixth form, I feel much more independent because uh, you have a lot of much more independent time. Also, the A level are more challenging than GCSE, but of course, as I said, the teachers here are very supportive, the facilities are very good here, and that helps you to do better. 
Okay, brilliant. Uh, Casper, I'm going to ask this one of you. Um, how many hours per week do you have of timetabled lessons uh, or how many times, like in terms of your courses, how many lessons? Um, if you have three levels, which most people do, you'd have four hours of each lesson um, alongside uh, a single hour of tutorial, which is kind of like a UCAS writing outside help type lesson. And the rest of your lessons would be independent studies where you'd be encouraged to do revision or homework. Um, we have a four hour a day time deal because of COVID. So we've got one hour of oh, one lesson, sorry. We have one hour, 20 minutes per lesson. Um, and that'd be separated and supported on lesson. Okay. And can you, Jasmine, could you elaborate a little, sorry, elaborate a little bit more about tutorial time to speak up a little bit as well? Yeah, so in tutorial, during the during year 12 period, it was more about looking for work experience opportunities, you know, different enrichment activities or doing assemblies. So they'll go through, you know, updates with the school and things like that. But now in year 13, it's more UCAS related. So they'll go through how to write your personal statement or if you have a question, your tutorial teacher is kind of the person to ask um, in comparison to other teachers, depending on if it depends what uh, subject you want to study. Um, but in tutorial, it's mainly at the moment UCAS based for the year 13s, um, as well as placements as well for apprenticeships. We can talk to them about that as well. So I think tutorial is really useful in that it's more of a what's next kind of lesson. Okay, brilliant. That's thanks. Um, I would say to anyone, if you do have any further questions, post them in the chat function. I'm going to ask a couple more of the questions that came in over email to our pupil panel. Um, but yeah, if you do have any specific questions, whilst you've got the access of our pupils and ex-students as well, uh, it'd be great to post that in the chat function. I hope that the sound is, a, is as, it's as loud as it can be now, so hopefully um, everybody can hear the pupils. Um, one of the questions that has come in is, will we have the same entry requirements this year because of COVID? Um, I'm probably looking at the pupils and guessing that they're not necessarily going to have the answers to that because it's probably a decision that's way out of them. But in terms of obviously A-levels, there is a certain prior knowledge that's required uh, and we do have certain sort of um, bars, certain barriers, not barriers, sorry, certain um, thresholds in which we should have and, and benchmarks that we should need to meet. Now, obviously, the, the, the changing uh, landscape around exams is still very much open and up in the air so whilst we will certainly have a certain level of prior knowledge and, and, and expectation around that requirement uh, we haven't definitively said uh, yes or no that those uh, entry requirements will be exactly the same that might have to change subject to certain other um, situations around the country so that's one of the things that might impact on that um, We've covered how many hours we've got, okay. We've covered the interventions. It might be worth talking about the fact that we do have a VESPA program that supports, and um, this may be something that the, the tutors, um, or sorry, the pupils don't necessarily fully have, have uh, full access to yet, but the VESPA program is a way of, and Chenk talked about individual uh, kind of being quite uh, independent, uh, and the VESPA program supports that in that way. So that's another thing that helps and supports academically outside of the classroom. Um, as we don't have any further questions, and as I'm conscious that people's times are kind of precious, um, hopefully this has been really useful. Um, I'd like to thank our pupils for attending and being present and helping and supporting the school by uh, giving us a bit of feedback uh, from those questions. Um, I'm going to just leave it open for one more minute, but if there's nothing else to come in, uh, we will end this, uh, this Zoom pupil panel accordingly. Okay, so just to reiterate, um, the uh, admissions or the, uh, the open uh, policy for uh, admissions is now uh, open and open for business. So I do wish you luck in your uh, process and uh, application. I'd like to thank you all for attending uh, today's Zoom. Uh, there will be a recording of this made public on the, the website. Uh, and again, I'd just like to thank the pupil panel. So uh, I wish everyone a not just a, a very happy rest of the day, uh, rest of the week, but also a, a very Merry Christmas. Uh, best wishes. Right, we've ended. <laughs>